Janice Jolie, J O K, yeah, or um, I have chat books here. There's like 30 pages of poetry in this thing, okay? That's a lot of work. It's ten dollars. <laughs> yeah, very affordable, very affordable. Um, and if you go to, you can like listen to my music and all that stuff on the YouTube and on the website and stuff. So there's lots of free shit on the internet as well. If you don't want to pay the money, cause fuck capitalism. Okay. Yeah. Uh, last, last piece. Can I have some volunteers, please? I need some volunteers to be some children. Okay, you can come on YouTube. You two come up. Okay, back there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any people over 30? Someone in the back there, yeah? If she wants, only if you want. Okay, and then you just come sit here in a horseshoe facing me like, like we're telling, I'm gonna tell you a story. This is good, okay, yeah, it's good. Okay, uh, okay, it's good. Yeah, maybe you could just sit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you can sit here, you can sit on the box, or in the, the, the monitors. Okay, it's good. Can y'all see me still? Yeah, okay. Uh, this is an interactive piece. Okay. Um, every time I say the river of forgiveness, you have to say, ooh, can we try that? The river of forgiveness. And then it is always followed by the ocean of life. And you say, ah, okay? The ocean of life. The river of forgiveness and the ocean of life. Good. Okay, every time I say five years, you all have to go with this gesture. Five years? Can we try that? Five years. Five years. Okay, not everybody did the gesture. Let's try that one more time. Five years. Five years. That was so good. Okay, uh, and then also just comment, like heckle and comment. If I say exciting things like free ice cream for everybody. Yeah. Oh my god, the ice cream fucking melted. Oh. But it's okay, I'll give you a voucher for two free ice creams. Yeah. Yeah. And then you turn to your, your, your friend next to you and say, Do you want to get me a mint chocolate chip? No, I'm going to get cookie dough. Are you going to get a mint chocolate chip? We can share. Okay? Like, you know, just comment. The more you do that, the more exciting it is. And don't lose energy halfway through, okay? Lots of things. Lots of things to remember. Okay. This is, this is a story I wrote. People always ask me if I wrote it. Okay. Um, this is called The River of Forgiveness. Um, Claire was an orphan. Aww. She was 12 years old and small, but strong. And, and you, you all have to be excited as well. Yeah, yeah. That's your job. And uh, it was her dream to cross the lands all the way to the other side. That's my and, dream. And bring, okay, and bring her smile and her song. That's adorable. So she packed her backpack. Okay, she got her backpack. Everyone have a backpack? Yeah. She packed her backpack. And in her backpack, she put her two rocks. One rock full of all her dreams. Uh-huh. And one rock full of all her fears. Uh -oh. Oh, shit. She put them in her backpack. Yeah, she put it in her backpack and she went. She went walking, okay? And it was a hot summer day. She came up to this big tree, and under this tree sat a little boy. And at his feet was a, was a big rock. So Claire went up to the little boy and asked him, What are you doing? And he said, Well, I was trying to go to the river of forgiveness, which leads to the ocean of life. Oh, my rock full of all of my dreams is too heavy. So Claire said, well, I have this backpack, Sassy. and your rock can totally fit in my bag. So if you want, I'll put it in my bag, and we can go together. That's where I'm going. Aww. So she put it in her bag, and off they went together. And as they were walking, Claire sang to him. She sang, I will take a load off of you. I will carry your weights on my shoulder. I am strong, so let me help you. And we will travel together to the river of forgiveness, Ooh. to the ocean of life. Ah. Friends, it was a long journey. And five years passed. Five years. It was a very long journey. And they were walking, and they were walking, and Claire was five years older, and the boy was five years older. But Claire didn't complain about the load or anything, so he didn't ask for his rock back or anything. So they were walking and they came up to this crossroads and at this crossroads sat a man and at his feet were ten rocks at different sizes. So Claire went up to the man, only ten rocks. So Claire went up to the man and said, what are you doing? And he said, 
While I was trying to go to the river of forgiveness, oh. which leads to the ocean of life, ah. but my rocks with all my different dreams and fears are confusing me. I'm at these crossroads. I'm not sure which way to go. My skin is starting to burn. My knees are starting to get weak, you know? Ah. So Claire said, well, I have this backpack, <laughs> and your rocks can still fit in my bag. So if you want, I'll put them in, and we can walk together. I'll give you my walking stick and my hat. It's good. Damn, she's so strong. Agree, she's not as good. We should friend her. Um, so she put the rocks in her bag, and off they all went together. And, and friends, it was still a long journey. How long? How long? And five more years passed. Five, five years. years? She was very ambitious. So they're walking, and uh, Claire was ten years older, and the boy was ten years older, and the ma man was five years older. But and Claire was strong, and the bag was heavy, but no one com complained or anything. No one asked for the rocks back. And they were walking, and they came to this bridge, and under this bridge sat an old lady by a stream, and she was fishing. So and by her feet were thirty pebbles of different sizes. So, wow. So uh, Claire went up to the, the old lady and said, "What are you doing?" She said. Well, I was trying to go to the river of forgiveness, which leads to that ocean of life. Ah. Well, and, and I'm taking these pebbles full of all the hopes and dreams of my children and their children. But I found this stream where I can fish, and I found some berries over there, and I'm having a meal because I'm, you know, I'm getting old, you know. Actually, would you like to join in this meal with me? And like, oh, yes, yeah, I sat down. And I had a nice meal. I shared saw some stories, you know. Took some pictures. Um, but then it was time to go. So Claire got up, got her backpack on. But the man and the boy decided they liked it here, and they were just going to stay. So Did Claire she leave the rocks? Them. And said, well, well, she thought, I can't make them do anything they don't want to do. So then she turned to the old lady and said, you know, my, my bag is pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. But pebbles can fit in all the spaces between the rocks. So if you want, I can take them for you. And the grandmother agreed, and she put the pebbles in her bag, and off she went, alone. And it was a, the home stretch of a long journey. Five years passed. Five years! She was getting it. She was walking. She was walking. Her shoulders were starting to ache. Her knees were starting to ache. Her skin was burning. And as she walked, she walked, she started to see a shimmer on the horizon. Ooh. Ooh. She got there, she got there, and she no realized that she had That's made so it to the river! Ooh. She made it to the river! Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. Did I get a hallelujah? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So she took off her backpack and her shoulders groaned, you know? She took off her shoes and uh, stepped onto the bank of the river and started to take out the rocks. <laughs> The ten rocks of the man, uh, the one big rock of the boy, the pebbles from the grandmother, and she looked for her rocks, but they weren't there. And instead, there was a pile of sand and a tiny hole. And Claire realized that all throughout her journey, the weight of the other rocks had turned her rocks into sand. And all along her journey, the dust of her dreams and fears were getting scattered behind her. So she thought, well, maybe the dust of my dreams and fears got kicked up by other people's feet, picked up by the wind, and taken up into the clouds. Or maybe they got kicked up by other people, other people's feet, clung to the skirts of new people, and entered new journeys. Or maybe the dust of my dreams and fears just settled along with the flowers. And thinking that, she shed one tear of joy and one tear of sadness. With no rocks of her own, Claire took all the rocks of her friends, put them into the river, and they were swept down. With no rocks of her own, Claire immersed herself in the river, <sighs> sighed into the water, and the water washed away the dirt and soothed her skin and cooled her muscles. And as she immersed herself in the water, 100 fish gathered around her. This is exciting. Wow! Yes, yes, yes. And they lifted her up weightlessly. And they took her down the river and sang, We will take a load off of you. We will carry your weight on our shoulders. We are strong, so let us help you. And we will take you down the river of forgiveness to the ocean of life. Ah. Thank you very much, Toronto. Thank you very much. Now it's time for your break. My name is Dennis Lee. Please talk to me after. I don't have a lot of friends here. <laughs>